possible game change for schools across the country. We've all been inspired by amazing plays from young athletes overcoming personal odds, while the government is now weighing in, pushing for students to have equal access to athletics. It's a move that could help disabled students the same way the Title IX revolutionized women's sports. ABC's Rena Ninen has more from Washington. Good morning, Rena. Hi, Bianca. That's right. Good morning to you. Title IX advanced equal opportunities for women in public school sports. 40 years ago, more women started playing school sports. This latest decision is a similar move. It was the first time eighth grader Owen Grosser moved off the bench and onto the court. And then he did this. Not once, but twice scoring two three-point shots during a basketball game for his Michigan Middle School. Owen has Down syndrome and a message. You never give up. On Friday, the U.S. Department of Education announced that public school districts <sighs> must give kids like Owen and other students with disabilities an equal chance to play in school sports. Once a child has more uh, opportunity, uh, then you're going to have more kids participating. And once they see their friends with disabilities participating, they're going to want to participate. But critics claim creating more sports for the disabled will require more money, jeopardizing funding for other scholastic and athletic programs. On his blog, Education Secretary Arne Duncan wrote, they don't have to do anything that would provide a student with a disability an unfair competitive advantage, but they do need to make reasonable modifications. As for Owen, his chance on the court landed him ESPN fame. And he just starts chucking threes. He also received an award from the Harlem Globetrotters. Most importantly, his success on the court has given him more confidence off the court. This is about building the character of Owen and the character of the kids here. And I think these kids are going to take this experience away from them for the rest of their lives. It's still not clear if these new guidelines will extend to college and university sports programs. If a school can't accommodate students with disabilities, they have to offer a parallel program or risk losing federal funding. Dan? Thank you, Rena. Love Owen. We really appreciate that terrific report. Terrific story. Absolutely. It is a terrific story.